Welcome to Time Travel. This is Scott Barnes TV and I'm your host, Scott Barnes. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. Come with me to the fabulous 50s. This was a glamorous decade. War was over and the economy was booming. Suburbia was booming and babies were booming. Rock and roll was born and it was the invasion of the teenager. Elvis was king. It was the invention of the color TV and you could get a TV dinner and Disneyland open. What's more fabulous than that? Come with me to the fabulous 50s. Oh my God, we're in the 50s. How did we get here? Through our time travel, of course. <laughs> of course, I'm here with Lady Lakin. Hello. Hi guys. Frank did an amazing job giving her a fresh and fabulous 50s hairdo. It's the Hairdo Hall of Fame. So we're gonna do some 50s makeup and we're gonna talk about some fun 50s facts, right? The war is over. The war is done. The economy's doing well. It's booming. We're not scrounging anymore and we're not tying biscuits together. Fashion was returned to femininity. Hence the way you're dressed today. And it was called the new look. And guess where it came from? Paris. Good job. <laughs> it came from Paris, but which designer? Christian Dior. Very good. This became such a staple in the 50s household for 50s women everywhere that it trickled down even to the teenagers. The teenager would kind of invaded the world. They had their own category of clothing and everything else. 50s opened up a lot of doors to a lot of people. This was great. And then we talk about fashion and silhouettes. There was a very slim fit. It was like a pencil skirt, the bullet bra, which you're wearing. And <laughs> showcasing us right now with your perky, pointy boobies. But I think that was all about the femininity too. Motherhood was a big thing. You were like the queen of your own castle. Breasts were important. Marilyn Monroe, big deal. Jane Mansfield. Brigitte Bardot. Yes. Sophie Loren. Boobies. They had cans, like as my dad would call them, cans. Cans. That was the 50s. Then there was the Chanel shape. Really kind of a boxy shape, which was great. It wasn't so body conscious. So if you were a little bit older or if you were a little bit more proper. And this was a little bit more fun and flirty, which right. was the A-line skirt. And it was all about Femininity. Paris. Yes, oh. <laughs> femininity, of course. And Paris, the Eiffel Tower was a big thing. Poodles, you were nobody unless you had a French poodle by your side, that was your accessory. You had a poodle do, curly hair. You had a poodle lamp, it was poodles everywhere. Poodles, you're gonna love them, get one. <laughs> They're smart dogs. So I think we should get cracking on some makeup and we can talk about heels while we're doing that. Okay. What kind of heels you got on? I have on stiletto. There was the kitten heel and then there was the stiletto. You either had a really rounded toe or a pointy toe. Fashion was a little bit in the shoe department, a little bit all over the place. But ladies did not go out without gloves on and you didn't go out without a handbag. No ladies too secure at night without a handbag. You never know what she's got in there. Pistol, lipstick, things. All the above. Accoutrement. So let's talk about blush. We did your foundation, Frank did your hair. You got this floral thing on, so we're gonna work with a soft palette. And I think what we should do is work with the glowy and showy highlighters, and then we're gonna bring in minimalist with it. Cause we don't want a ton of blush, but we want it to glow. And I'm gonna use just a little bit of that rose. I'm gonna pop, 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 pop in between the three of those. It seems like the colors of this time are a little more coral and pink and not as red. Right, before we were doing like red and pale skin. You had pretty skin. It wasn't overly tan, but it wasn't ghastly either. What was the framer though? The brow. The brow was everything. You were nobody in the 50s unless you had a brow. Do you know who really brought that in? I feel like it was Liz Taylor. Liz Taylor and also Audrey Hepburn. They were very browsy. Yeah. That's like a nice beginner's blush situation. You would put a little lip gloss on and cook us a fabulous meal. Serve you a cocktail before in the living room. Since we're talking okay. brows. And I'm going to use the contour palette. I'm gonna either use Snatched or Dice because they're a little bit green. Brow 59, my little chipper. I'm gonna go with Snatched. Now, this was about that point. It was a strong brow. I watched makeup tutorials about the 50s. Yeah. Oh my God, they made the brows black and the girl had blonde hair. I was like, oh my gosh. It felt a little off center, Too but strong. yeah. We can be a little bit deeper and I'm gonna go right up here and really make this. It was, there was no roundness to it. It was yeah. not a thing. The roundness did not, angled. very angular. When we trail off with that tail, that's how you created a 50s brow. She was very expressive, maybe a little inquisitive. Mm -hmm. She's very knowing. She's like Santa Claus. She knows what you've been She's thinking. A mom. She knows exactly what time to take the Rice Krispie treats out of the oven. Do you like Rice Krispie treats? Did you like them when you were a kid? I liked them a lot when I was a kid. I think my enthusiasm is dwindled as I've aged, but I like making them. Fun family treat. This feels great, like what we're doing here. 
I'm just gonna go up a little bit higher because I feel like that arch. You know, McDonald's was opened up at this time. Yeah, the golden arches. Now you got them. <laughs> now I have them. You can possess them for yourself. <laughs> you can purchase your own golden arches. I felt like the 30s were really the golden arches. <laughs> they were like round, it's like a half moon. Let's talk about shapes. And we're gonna go back to the clothing because it's almost like a return to the Victorian age. Yes. It just, the length changed. And I thought this was kind of decadent considering we were rationing everything in the 40s. Now all of a sudden, it's the 50s and it's like bolts of fabric, right. tons of skirt. It was a little like, hey, look at me. I'm not poor anymore. Well, it's kind of interesting you say that too because there's the Teddy Boys and Girls that actually paid homage to the Edwardian era. The Teddies. Yeah, the Teddies. They got their name from the Edwardian era. That's so cool. <laughs> Check it out. Look at that brow. Okay. She's busy, this brow. We should put the mascara on. We're not doing a red lip today. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so happy. For somebody that doesn't use a lot of red all the time, I've been forced Silver to use body. a lot of red. <laughs> Every decade, I was like, red again, mm, okay. When does the beige lip come in? Oh yeah, that's right, I brought it in. That's funny. So I'm gonna line your lips, and I'm gonna put some mascara on. Let's talk about eyeshadow. Eyeshadow was like frosted, you know what I mean? Yeah, kind of like a lighter cooler. It's like a frosty mug. Frosty mug of love. I think I'm gonna use Crystal Blue Persuasion. Yeah, it kind of works with the gorgeous. dress. Feels kind of yeah. 50s. This was yeah, from yeah. the Bolt, so if you guys got the Bolt, this is your lucky day because I'm working with the Bolt colors. Let's take brush number 62, which is our fabulous fluffer brush. Pretty. She's fanciful. She's blue. She's very busy. Now I'm just going right down to the lash line with this so we can create a lid. This was Crystal Blue Persuasion. That, it's funny that I chose that color because that was one of my mom's favorite songs. Oh, really? Shout out to Tommy and the Shondells. Do you know the song? I am not very familiar with it. It's a pretty song. I'll listen to it. You feel like you're kind of like floating around on a boat. Aww. It's a very dreamy, pretty song. My mom loved it. Pretty. Yeah, you look like a very proper girl right now. It's yeah. very funny. It's like, <laughs> I feel very proper. Okay, I think we should get a little bit bigger with this. And okay. what I'm gonna do is whatever's left on the brush, I'm just gonna kind of like bring it up and out. You know what I mean? Sure. I don't want anything heavy, no heavy lines. It gives it a wash. Remember, back then we didn't have tools. Like there were no like makeup tools. People were using like sponge applicators and stuff. That's so funny. I've kind of forgotten about that. No, don't forget yeah. about it. I'm gonna use brush number 61, a little bit of crybaby. I'm gonna put it right on the brow bone. I feel like I'm gonna cry because it's so pretty. Oh, don't cry. Don't be a cry baby, just cry maybe. What else in the 50s did we love? Come I on. love Hawaiian shirts. They came in hot. Everything Hawaiian was in. Tiki torches, tiki bars, tiki taverns. It was like tiki tiki. Tiki tiki. Tiki tiki. Hawaii oh. became a state. Oh, that's in right. The 50s. Good old Hawaii. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put a little mascara on. Actually, let's go here. Oh. This is a classic. It is. It's a Maybelline's Great Lash. So Maybelline and Helena Rubinstein were some of the few that came out, and cream mascara with a brush came out in the 50s. Wow. Yay. Amazing. No more cakes. Right. Even though we didn't use them, but they were there. I'm going to try this Great Lash. Oh, the brush is so little and cute. I think that they got littler since we started. Great Lash was the thing. We're using her as a nod to Maybelline coming out with the cream mascara. We should talk about some of the cool sayings of the 50s. This is what I think you are. You're a total Betty. I'm a total Betty. A person of female persuasion. Yes. Also, Cloud Nine we're came on, out. We're on Cloud we're Nine. We're on Cloud Nine. Cool it. Cool it. Like, just cool it, all right? Okay. That means, like, relax. What you never say to a girl. Just cool it. Just cool it. Just relax. <laughs> you say that to a woman, you're getting something thrown at your head. We're tight. tight. That's what I was going to say. We're tight. <laughs> we're good friends. Square, that's someone that's a normal person. Don't be a square. Don't be normal. Don't be be normal. abnormal. Don't be a spaz. <laughs> someone who's a klutz, someone who's not coordinated. This is what my dad always used to do. Yeah, my dad did this too. Souped up his car. And that yeah. was to modify your car and make it go faster. The next one's a really great one. Get bent. Just drop dead. <laughs> Get with it. People still use yeah. that. Haul ass. I still use that. Because we're always hauling yeah. ass somewhere. We're late. <laughs> the um, heat. Yeah, well, that's kind of like feels like a Miami Vice kind of thing. Okay. The heat's on us. It's the vice, <laughs> we the police. Height. The last one, we had a whole conversation about We did. The horn. My mom used to say all the time, get Gladys on the horn. That was calling them. Pinky's out of jail. Do you guys know what that means? Leave your comments below. Okay, that means your slip is showing. Backseat bingo. Necking in a car. You guys are dirty. 
Yeah. These it was are bad. <laughs> bad news. They're Still depressing people. Yeah. You don't want to be around them. Or we want to call them today negative people. Remember the bad news bears? I was just thinking about that. Yeah, that was us. Bad news bears. That's cute. Little something to understand too. There was nothing really going on underneath the eyes. Everything was happening above the lash line. Just in case you get the urge to like start drawing underneath and all that, don't do it. <laughs> Fight the urge. I'm gonna go into the highlighter palette. I feel like I need to punch up the highlighter on your brow bone. I'm gonna go into Pink Crush from the highlighter palette. I'm gonna just hit it right on the brow bone with a clean number 62 brush, not the dirty one that you used to put in the blue. I want it to feel like a seashell. There oh she goes. Yeah, God. she feels a little seashelly. Let's use the travel brushes. We're gonna use the highlighter brush wow. from the travel situation. We're traveling to Hawaii. We could wear our Hawaiian shirts. You were probably inspired by Betty and Elvis. Look at her. So I brought you a present <laughs> today. You're gonna. You're gonna you did. I did. I'm so excited. So guess who else came out in the '50s besides you? I don't know. Barbie. <gasps> I love Barbie. I searched and searched and I found a lake in oh Barbie. My God. She's cute, right? She's so cute. And she's got body bling she's on. She's got big earrings on. She's got body bling on. That looks just like me. She's sassy. Do you that's see her lashes? They're sticking out. Oh my god, I love her lashes. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put lashes on Lakin so in a good. second. Lipstick colors were all over the place in the 50s. Okay. Eyeliner was really important. And what was it? The cat eye. Yeah. I'm gonna use Tom Ford's eyeliner. If anybody is curious about a liquid liner, Caitlin brought this to me, my assistant. She's a great makeup artist herself, and she was like, you've gotta try this liner. And I said, okay, a lot of control. It's good to work with. It's got like a pen here and a pen there. Ooh. It's got more buoyancy on this side. It's like a little tighter, and this one's smaller. So we're gonna go with the bigger one, because we need more drama, darling, of course. Mm. I'm just gonna go right along that lash line, and we're gonna create that 50s cap. Oh, wow. It was very defining. Yeah. And I think that really kind of defined what the 50s were about. This pen, you guys, you're gonna love it. It fits in your purse nice, and you get a lot of use out of it. It's not like one of those things that dries up after yeah. two uses. <laughs> There's nothing more frustrating than that. Sure. So this is not that. So great liner. I'm gonna have you turn towards me because I will make a mess. Okay, and I think I did it. You really wanna make sure that they're like even Steven. Society. She's high society. I have the falsetto lashes from my collection called Bianca. Bianca's are great. She's really winged out at the end. Okay. So this will just kind of add to the drama. I'm gonna teach everybody a little something about winged eyeliner. If you're not an expert at it and you wanna do it and use the lash, you can always kind of like do it. And if it's a little sloppy, you throw the lash on, then you kind of work around the lash. It's a little technique that works. It's like a cheat sheet. And let's measure this lash. She might not need to be cut. Don't think she needs it. Well, I'm gonna cut the corners and I'm gonna position this in a really interesting way. You wanna just loosen it up a little bit. We're gonna put the callus glue onto it, which I love. I talk about this glue a lot. It was actually designed to glue eyelids back. And if you were Asian and you wanted to create a lid, this was the product that everybody used. You put it along the lid, like what you would do in a cut crease. And then as it starts to dry, you then use the pitchfork and you push it in and it just kind of glues itself together. Little trick. Always, always break the spine. This is how I do it. That's why this is drying, let's talk about movies of the 50s. Cinderella. Love it. Some Like It Hot mm -hmm. with Marilyn Monroe. Amazing. Joni Curtis. A Streetcar Named Desire. Marlon Brando. Amazing. Ben Hur in 1959. And this is the second Academy Award. This record was not broken until Titanic in 1998. Wow, we already did the Titanic. All about Eve. Eve Harrington. Super You're gonna love good. it. Singing in the Rain. My all time favorite. My all time favorite to catch a thief with Grace Kelly. You're giving me Grace Kelly <laughs> vibes right now. I feel like it's ready now. It's almost dry. Open. Set that now once I get this lash on, I'm gonna just take that end and lift her. See, so she does that little mm -hmm. swoop -dee on the end. I call it a swoop -dee. But what we're doing is we're just kind of like creating a lift on the outer corner. Redirecting it so that it looks long. So I got some fun facts for you from okay. the 50s. Ready? Hula hoop was invented. Fun. Yeah, get your hula on. Get your hula on. hoop on. How many were made? 25 million in four months were sold. That is insane. You should have come up with the hula hoop. I should have. Hoops. Oops. Oops. Hula hoops. hoops. <laughs> we sold 25 million in four months. Everybody must have been like, out there. Out there, just the killing it. First Miss America pageant. Yo, Victoria Duke, what's up? Audrey Hepburn won an Academy Award. 
for Roman Holiday in 1953. And guess what? The birth of the mall rat. Yes, indoor <laughs> malls, <laughs> 1956. It was literally an invasion of the teenager. And, and NASA, it was founded yes, in the 50s. We Very love exciting. a NASA, NASA. Okay, chin down. And I'm gonna go to, to right? Her eyelashes are on and curled and ready to go. Okay, I wanna marry the two together. We're gonna to use a little bit of mascara from Pretty Lash. These are such fun lashes, I love them. They're beyond cut. They're so fun. So cute, right? Is this one giving you any grief? No, she's on. She's poised. And she's ready. She's a Betty who's ready. Let's take a little bit of powder. Let's do a little bit underneath. I feel like we could just do a tiny bit more pinky blush. I feel like she could be just a tiny bit rosier. So what else? Disneyland, the Disney experience. Why do we just love Disney so much? It's the best. Because you feel like it's a big so kid. It's so magical. I do feel like a big kid. Now lips were really a big thing. I'm gonna do a little bit of a three-step process with your lips, which okay. is gonna be cool. Revlon came out with a new lipstick every six months, and they mm. wanted to encourage sales. They got away from the reds. Now we had a plethora of shades, you know? Right. I'm gonna use the Scott Barnes lip pencil in Karen. And all you other Karens out there, you know who you are. We want a little definition. Now, I put foundation over your lips just because I wanted the color to pop. Such a good trick. It worked. When you're doing a matte lipstick, it mm -hmm. makes the colors a little bit more vibrant, eh? and it stays on longer. And it also just contributes to the drying of your lips, which is so much fun. Pretty, pretty. It doesn't need a lot, a lot of lip liner. Think about this, Tupperware was brought out in the 40s, right? Mm -hmm. So I think the Tupperware party started happening in, in the, the 50s. 50s. <laughs> <laughs> that one, Ambrosia salad. Oh, my favorite. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> Frank likes it. Oh, really? He's from Australia, so they love yeah. pavlova. It's like they love mm -hmm. fruit and like whipped cream together. I make him pavlova. So there's a good lip liner situation. And I'm gonna use the color Undercover Lover. She's a pink, she's a matte, she's cute. And we're gonna top her off with some shimmer. You're blonde, all that red's a little harsh, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's kind of refreshing to see you in a, lighter. In a pink, mm -hmm. the blonde hair. This would probably be like a very normal blonde color. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. So pretty. You're ready for your Tupperware party. You're ready for a luau. You're ready for the mall. You're ready to drive in your car. Let's do the Baker. Well, Studebaker's older. Was that? It would have been like probably your 57 Chevy. Okay. They had nice fins. Cadillac. Cadillac was great. Stingray. Now you're getting into some pricey <laughs> exotics. Okay, but all right. Since you're a housewife, your husband better make some dough. So welcome to the 50s, right? Yeah. This was really simple, but effective. It's kind of like the 50s. It is the 50s. It is the 50s, we're here. Okay, so we could top it off with two things. We can either go with the crystal or we can go with booty call. Booty call. <laughs> You're like, I'm definitely on the booty call situation. I feel like the crystal is gonna be a little bit softer. Yeah. All right, let's go there. One of my favorite things that I created last year. She gives you that. Yeah, she's definitely ready for Paris runway show. She's ready for the Christian Dior. She's ready for her luncheon. So we're gonna do a photo shoot with both silhouettes. The thin silhouette and this one. Give a little nod to Jackie O, because she was a style icon of the 50s. And I love Lucy who debuted in the 50s. Oh, it's so fun. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this 50s glam slam. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys at the photo shoot. I love you. God bless you. Love and I'll you. see you guys later. <laughs>